practice with place value. The question here asks what the value of the 8 is in each of these numbers. This first number, 44,832, the value of the 8 would be 800. What do you feel the value of the 8 is for that second number? What is that 8 worth? What is its value? It is worth 80,000. Look at that last number and read it for me. Did you say 86,234,061? What is the value of the 8 in that number then? The value of that 8 would be 80 million. We could write it like that there. And I've also would have accepted 80 million there as an appropriate answer for the value of the 8. Remember there's a difference between place value versus value. Here this question is asking what is the place value of the underlying digit. And then so it's asking you what that place is. And then so in that first number, 37,251,468, that place value there of that underlying digit, that is in the millions place. Some students will accidentally call it the 7 millions place. It is not called the 7 millions place, it's called the millions place. In the other number, what is that place value then? What do you call that place? That is the hundred thousands place. That place value is the hundred thousands place. For this question, it asks what digits is in the ten millions place in the number eight seven six. Two zero three five one seven, and so the digit that is in the ten millions place is a what? It's a seven. That number is eight hundred seventy six million two hundred three thousand five hundred seventeen, and the digit that is in the ten millions place is a seven. Here, this question is asking you to write the number seventy six million two hundred five thousand one hundred eight in expanded notation. So expanded notation, that first number that we're going to end up writing is 70 million. After we write 70 million, we go ahead and write an addition sign, and we add it together with the next digit that is not a zero, and the value of that is 6 million. Then we have that 2, which is worth 200,000. We have the 5, which is worth 5,000 plus 100, plus 8. I look it over again, I should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 add-ends. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 add-ends. The 8 goes with the 8. 100, 100, 5, 5,000, 200,000, 6 million, 70 million. Right? Here you're asked to write the number 18,508,021 in standard form. Those are just the numbers. So what is it that you would write? In that first period, we would have 18. The next period, it says 508,000. So we write a 508. Finally, it says 21. And so for the ones for 21, we need to have a zero in the hundreds place a 2 in the tens place, and a 1 in the ones place. I read that number to make sure I wrote what it's supposed to be written. Be written. 18,508,021. 18,508,021. Here we're asked to write in standard form, and it looks like we're given expanded notation to rewrite in standard form. In the millions period, it looks like we have 30. In the thousands period, we have 700,000 plus 5,000, which give us 
seven zero five or seven hundred five thousand. And finally, we have 68 in the ones period. And remember, we write 68 as 0, 6, 8. Look over the number first. Read it over, 30,705,068. And then double check again to make sure that each of those is the appropriate value. For this problem, we're asked to write an expanded notation, 316,517. So this number, if we wrote it in standard form, it would be 316,517. Be written like that there. And that way it'll be easier for me to go ahead and write it out into expanded notation. We start with 300 million. Add together with that with 10 million. Add it with 6 million. And then finally we have 500 plus 10 plus 7. And that there is how it is that we write in expanded notation. And that's your place value practice for today.